Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect, episode 4 of our series here. Last time we did a bunch of expansion here uh, with our larger canteen. We got a workshop set up and we've got quite a bit more to take care of. We're kind of locked right now behind these two grants that we still have not been able to finish. Uh, we have to make 30 license plates in our workshop and we have to have one prisoner pass the general education course. So uh, we do just have the one classroom for right now and that is uh, resulting in uh, not a whole lot of uh, general education qualification happening. We only have seven, looks like seven slots occupied, and we have to get one of these guys to pass, but uh, it's going to take them a uh, pretty good while to get through that. So it probably would be in our interest to build a second classroom or some other method of uh, getting some of that stuff done a little bit quicker. There's a bunch of stuff we got to take care of. Uh, so we're going to go right down the list of stuff you guys wanted me to uh, take care of here. We're going to put a door in, now that this is fully enclosed. Uh, we're going to put a door in the cleaning cupboard, and then that's going to enable us to actually hire prisoners to work as janitors. And they can help keep the prison a little clean. And if we have a door here, then that means they don't have to go through the staff area to get in, but staff can still get in through uh, this area right here if we feel so inclined. So we'll wait for them to put that door in place and then I'll hire those prisoners, get that stuff done, and we'll be working, uh, hopefully, pretty well in that regard. Uh, they're still installing uh, windows and other various things in the cells. We've got plenty of work to do in that regard and all sorts of other fun stuff to get to. Having breakfast right now, it looks like. Hopefully nobody gets mad and causes problems. Uh, somebody said in the comments last video, Hey, you said you were going to put stuff in the yard and then you just put a running track and that was it. So oh, we can absolutely put some yard related stuff. Oh, we could put a guard pavilion right in the center of that. How about that, huh? Uh, get guards up there. I think uh, later on you can get armed guards with sniper rifles and stick them in there. They'll love that. Uh, but uh, I digress. We've got plenty of stuff we can put in here. There's tire apparatuses, dumbbell racks, tire stacks, etc. So uh, I figured might be kind of nice to have oh I put this in the wrong spot there we go might be nice to have some stuff for these guys to do out in the yard uh, weight benches dumbbell racks etc so if I just put uh, a decent number in there they got benches as well I don't know if this specifically works in the yard or not or if it has to be a gymnasium but we'll put it in there anyway uh, punching bags yeah there you go Give these guys something to beat up on. Uh, phone booths are a common room thing. Uh, all sorts of uh, other other fun stuff for these guys to get into. Uh, boom boxes, unmanned searchlights. Okay, we might want to might want to get into some of that at some point. But uh, yeah, we'll give these guys some other stuff to do. Probably should uh, have some sort of gymnasium in there. Uh, but we have uh, these tables out here. Give them somewhere to sit down when they're in leisure mode. And then, let's see, wall lights. Oh yeah, I like these. They have to be placed on the wall. So let's put those kind of around the outside here. In fact, we can put them right around outside all these doors that we've got coming in and out. Just a little bit of a uh, light somewhere. And then uh, floodlights. Yeah, see, this is probably what really needs to go uh, out in the yards. But I've got some stuff being placed in uh, spots that might not make that very, uh, very doable. So I put some of those. I don't know if it's gonna like me, uh, like me doing that. Maybe we won't put those right there. I don't know. We've we've got some options for different things. We'll see what these wall lights end up illuminating. If that ends up looking uh, any better. Guard pavilion right in the center ought to keep some of them in line, so that should be good. And that does address the issue of not having anything to do in the yard, at least slightly give them something to do. And yes, I did see the uh, the comments saying, hey, you know, you have like uh, lightless dungeons in here, <laughs> so in your office area. Uh, that was partly because I have these lovely lamps. Look at those, look at those. That's like something your grandma would have in her house. Those are uh, magnificent. So we'll leave those. Uh, we'll leave those as they uh, probably are supposed to be. 
but a couple lights in here. There's there's power run to those. It's fine. Uh, I just took the lights out of these because, well, it was a uh, nice little moody office. But I guess I can put the lights back in if we're gonna be gonna be worried about it that much. So that's okay. Now we have a cleaning cupboard. Hire some prisoners in there. Get to work. Clean some stuff and get going. So the uh, prison manufacturing facility, I'm pretty sure uh, they have to all pass the workshop safety induction, but there's only three of them that have passed it, period, point blank. And I do have eight jobs uh, open. I have seven qualified prisoners, so we'll see what happens during the eating, or eating, the working and free time, whether they get into that. So let's go ahead and uh, speed through lunch here. I think 2 p.m. is when that uh, that comes back. The work. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's... Hold on. Let's check our regime here. Oh, it's yard time starting at 3. That's what it is. So we'll see. Yeah, see, there's guys climbing on the tire apparatus. Apparatuses. Using the weight benches. We're at risk of a fire breaks out. Yeah, because you don't have sprinklers. But that's a... Uh, that's a DLC thing. I, I never really messed with that before. No, just got to get these guys to pass the general education course. That's what I'm really concerned about, because then we can have one of our programs back. Okay, we got two guys in the green. I guess that's good, probably. Oh, okay, we, we've, got, uh, we've got a bunch of guys in here. So maybe they'll pass it, maybe not. We'll see. But we have room here. I believe, to put another classroom. I was trying to figure out what would go here. Got a couple options. But classroom would probably be good uh, putting in possibly a uh, chapel or a parole room would also be smart. And I'm pretty sure the classroom, yeah, it has to be minimum 5x5. Five five. So if we had 7x5 by, uh, five by five here, we could have a small classroom. And then off to the side, chapel's got to be 6x6. Six but that would easily, easily fit seven by eight, give them a little bit of a option to do spirituality type activities. And yes, we will have to put additional lights in. I am aware. That's why I don't like the automatic lights because it always ends up being in a spot that doesn't uh, doesn't really make sense. Now we're gonna have a little tiny, uh, little tiny walkways for these guys to go down. That's fine. We'll just put in a couple more of these. I think that should be okay. Oh, we have the uh, the guys trapped in there. So we got to have, uh, I guess, some way of getting in and out through all these things. I maybe could have left the, uh, the walkway here, but I, I think it's probably okay. They can go... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We got three guys that just escaped in a tunnel? I don't think so. I don't think so. We're, we're tunnel searching this entire thing. Tell you what, man. <laughs> they, they are relentless with these tunnels. That's one of the reasons why I, uh, I kind of want to next time have the much bigger bigger prison. So we can go ahead and uh, take care of all that. But let's, uh, let's see. Which one of these was under, is it under foundations? Yes, remove tunnels. Ah, uh, yep, tunneled out through the toilet. Classic. That's, uh, yep. <laughs> That's the way it goes, I guess. Yeah, so these guys still have not, yeah, workshop safety induction. Yeah, I only have room for one of those. But we got to get some other, uh, some other classrooms going in here. I guess we can take that back down to normal speed. So we don't have to rush through everything. Well, let's get ourselves some school desks. I guess we can put it on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The amount of desks I don't think uh, reflects the amount of students you can have. It very well could. But I just am not sure. Office desk can go here. Do I have to have a chair? No, I do not. I just have to have a desk and all that. So that'll work. Chapel is going to have to have altars, pews, and prayer mats. Interfaith compatibility, as it were. So, let's see. Uh, it's not really going to be able to be centered, I don't think. Maybe it is. Yeah, because that would go there, that would go there. Okay, yeah, cool. Just put the altar right there. Uh, pews. 
It's not wide enough for two. Oh, that's going to bug me to no end. Well, I know the prayer mats we can put in. I do not know the correct orientation for these, but... Uh, just put a handful of these in. I guess... Oh, it's going to bug me so much that these aren't centered. But that's fine. We'll just put in a couple of pews like that, and there you go. That should take care of most of uh, their needs in that regard. Speed this back up, and then we'll have classrooms. Uh, I can schedule additional uh, programs here. So I'm going to have two more sections, one each of the foundation and general education qualification. Just kind of hedge our bets with that. And then I believe the carpentry apprenticeship, I had figured we'd actually have some guys pass this. But uh, maybe not. I thought I was going to remove remove the tunnels. I don't know why they haven't done that yet. Because that is an inaccessible uh, cell currently because it's not enclosed because there's a tunnel going out through the toilet drain. Ah, you gotta love the, uh, the ingenuity of these guys sometimes. But we do have, uh, we've got a little bit of light. A little bit of light out in the yard. It's not the, uh, not the worst thing we could be doing here. Oh, see, now, now they've uncovered the entire tunnel. Uh, okay, there it is. Yeah, let's get rid of that immediately. And then probably we also need to just search everything, honestly. Oh, yeah, look at all that stuff. We've got hammers. Can't have that. No hammers allowed. <laughs> Lots of cell phones. Man. That is uh, a substantial amount of contraband that we can't be having. These guys are going to get really mad if we just keep doing this. So we're going to have to uh, hopefully get this done quickly. And everybody can move on with their lives. So I think we probably... High levels of contraband, you don't say. <laughs> Look at all this stuff we just found. We might be able to split this classroom in half. And have uh, three different areas... Or that kind of stuff. I don't know, but now now these guys are quite upset. They've got all sorts of other stuff to uh, keep themselves occupied. All right, so are we going to have anybody come in here to do... Uh, oh, good. We do have a guy making license plates, I think. Or he's just chilling, maybe. Oh, no, he's taking the class, I think is what it is. Yeah, see, nobody's even nobody's even working here. But it is a good time to... Okay, good, that's set up. Yeah, I think, grand scheme of things, we're probably doing about as well as we can. We just got to get, uh, get some more stuff going, man. Everything is uh, hedging on getting this general education qualification. Because you know you can only have the two grants at one time. So I guess we just have to wait. Uh, other things in this bureaucracy tab... Uh, remote access, uh, might as well just go ahead and research that. That's going to allow us to use the automatic doors. And then armed guards, etc. Surveillance, and then closed circuit, it's closed circuit TV. There we go. Uh, which one of these is the one that allows me to sell shares in the prison? Is that bank loan? No, maybe it's... Uh... Huh. I don't know. Because I know that's how we... Uh... I know that's how we want to end this, is sell the prison. And see uh, if we can use that money for the next one that we're going to start. There, There is going to be another uh, series of this, don't worry. It's not just ending on this tiny one. This is, like I've been saying, kind of a, just a proof of concept. Like, hey, do we, do we enjoy the game? Do we have fun? And you guys seem to like it, so that is fine. We need to schedule a yeah, spiritual guidance. We can do a couple of those. I think we just have the two slots, yeah. So we'll bring in... I don't know, I guess they just say spiritual leader. They haven't assigned a specific faith to that. Uh, behavioral therapy, I think I've got a psychologist. Uh, nope, no no equipment. What? Psychologist in an office. Well, what's this guy? You're a psychologist. Is there a specific room you have to go in? Psychiatrist office is a specific room. Uh, but that's the criminally insane DLC that we're probably not going to be playing with. Hmm. So I don't know. Like, does he have to have a specific thing? 
Not sure, but uh, this staff room, I'm pretty sure we're going to end up turning it into a security room for uh, remote doors and monitoring stuff eventually, but I don't uh, I don't see... Or maybe that is the... Uh, aha! There it is. Security. So that's got to be... It's got to have an office desk, chair... Oh, I can't have the sofas. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll get rid of the sofas then. So office desk. Ah, yes. Door control system. That's what we were... Uh, that's what we were messing with. Is this not a filing cabinet? No, it's a drink machine. Never mind. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll get rid of all that. Uh, door control system. Connect us as many servos. Can open a maximum of two doors per second. So we probably don't need to have multiples of this. I'll just put this one in here. I don't have phone taps or anything yet, but we'll do an office desk. Eh, I'll put the office desk here in the corner. Uh, chair. Chair, 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 chair. Alright, normal chair is fine. We'll give them two chairs in case they just want to sit there with their chairs. Filing cabinet. There we go. That has to be wired into electricity. So we'll just pop that right there. And then uh, we can do door servos, which should help uh, having those controlled uh, access to the yard and some other stuff for certain times so we don't run into uh, problems with that. So we still, somehow, still do not have... Man, they made a mess in here. That's, uh, that's pretty gross. Uh, I guess I could hire some more janitors. How many do I have? Oh, I can't... Oh, I only have two? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's have ten of those guys. Oh no, we're losing money. It's fine. We'll get it fixed. But we we got to keep the prison clean. That's going to be a, a security issue. All right, we got remote access approved. Um, oh, tax relief. That's convenient. Yeah, lower the corporate. Yeah, there's a bunch of corporations that pay a lot less than fifteen percent. I'll tell you that. Um, you know, I personally pay much more than fifteen percent in tax, but I'm also not a corporation. I'm a guy who plays video games on the internet and has to pay both sides of FICA. Anyway, moving on. I cannot believe we still have not had one guy pass this. Uh, where's this down here? General education qualification. Like, wh why? Why are they not passing this? All right. So this guy, this guy's in here teaching uh, spiritual. Okay, there's a guy in here now, and he's gone. <laughs> All right, never mind. Come as you are, I suppose. Uh, so door control. If we take a look, is that under? I've not actually really used this very much. Uh, wiring. Ah, yes. Door servos. Door control. No, I already I already placed that. Door servos. Okay. Um, I'm assuming it's just th this right here. Just directly over that. I'm just going to assume this is how this is supposed to work, and I'll just put these servos in, and we'll uh, we'll get around to it. Hopefully I put it in the right spot. It looks like maybe... Oh, good. Oh, actually, let's, let's watch and make sure it's not just a guard doing it manually. Oh, those have to be wired in, I'm sure. All right, somebody go through the door so I can figure out if this works. I've never used this before in all of my time playing the game. Of course, I do this while everybody's asleep at night, so I guess we're not going to... Okay, no, that guy manually unlocked it. Um. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even wire it. I'm sure that has to be... Uh, Yep. Okay, I knew it was too good to be true. I gotta have all this stuff connected. Alright. Well. That's fine. We got uh, the central stuff connected up. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Okay, so that's gotta be, I guess, directly connected, even though it's right next to the... Huh. That's kind of strange. Oh, this doesn't have any uh doesn't have any lights. Alright, we can fix that. 
still nobody has passed general education and we haven't produced any license plates. What is up? What is up with that? Did I, uh, like, is this even in the correct spot? I can't tell because it's a two, uh, it's a two tile tall, two tile tall thing. Like, I can only assume it's actually connect. Okay. All right. No, the light, the lights light up. I guess I did it correctly then. So you can open two doors per second. I hope that's enough. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully that ends up improving our accessibility to different things. All right, we got a guy here. Are you making license plates or are you learning how to make license plates? Okay, no, you're doing workshop safety induction. All right. Oh, okay. Are you guys also learning? Very good. Learn how to make license plates and then make license plates. We got, we got stuff to do and it's gated behind you making license plates. Let's see, what else can we work on? What are you, uh, okay, you're cleaning. I guess that's allowed. All right. Oh, the visitation one probably also needs to be a, uh, probably also needs to be a door servo. That probably needs to be permanently guarded. What is Quick Connect? Whoa! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's going to save a lot of time. To just Quick Connect all these. Yes, sirree. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be doing, but... Show wires. Okay, very good. That's all connected. Hopefully looking, uh, looking good. Now, why are you... Why would you... Why would you do that? Attacked prisoner. Maybe don't do that. Have you ever thought about, you know, not doing that? Would be a good, uh, a good thing for you to choose to do is to not do that. All right. So is the problem we're running into uh, that we don't have enough slots... Because this is, yeah, that's up in the morning. And I've got three, three of these. Maybe I need to instead have, um, instead of this lock up in the morning, maybe I need to have free time before that. Maybe I move breakfast up to seven. Yeah, if I do that, then I can have, uh, I can have work free time at nine. And then I can just have regular free time at noon. I guess the yard thing isn't really specifically required anymore, judging by the... Uh, uh, no, actually, no, that, that probably actually does need to be lock up before sleep. Or maybe it's just eat and then sleep. But 9 p.m. is too late for dinner. That would make me a little upset. So if I give them one extra hour of free time, I wonder if that allows me to program another uh, another program. No, that's just 9 to 11 a.m. Okay. That's got re uh, reconfigured here. Yep, that's it. Uh, kitchen safety, hygiene, nope. But I can only have between 5 to 7 p.m. Why is... Oh, 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 that's because... It uses the same room. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Now I've got to, I don't know why I got rid of that. Workshop safety injection. Requires workshop saw, workshop press. Yes, we have four of those, that's fine. Carpentry apprenticeship is, uh, requires a table. We have a table. But why have we not made any license plates? Like that's not a, I don't have an option to do anything else with that. And I already have the prison manufacturing facility unlocked. And we have the uh, we have the prisoner acclimatization and engagement completed. I just don't know why they're not making the license plates and why they're not passing the general education course. I got so much to do, so much stuff to do. Got to get it done. I don't know what the uh, what the deal is and why do I only have? Oh, do they find more tunnels? That's probably what it was. Yep, got to get rid of those two things. I think. 
for some reason it doesn't always uh doesn't always remove those when I tell it to. Not really sure what the deal is with that. Yeah, see now I've got uh now I've got prisoners coming in. And they're all ready to go. It's like, man, we are we're getting hamstrung by not being able to make license plates, and I don't know what it is. Normally this is not a problem. Uh, to get guys to come in here, they're uh they're qualified. Is, is it because these guys are working other places, or I just have too many jobs? I bet you that's what it is. I got too many jobs for these guys to actually all do uh, at the same time. So if I, go, if I go down a little bit, is that going to have some of these guys work in here instead during the uh, during the evening to make me some license plates? Because we do only have fifty four total cells, so it's not like we really have a huge prison labor force. Yeah, because we had we have seven qualified prisoners and maximum of eight jobs. These I guess I could just keep taking keep taking jobs away here until they can do that. Yeah, now it's lunchtime. Yeah, we're still hemorrhaging money. We've got to do got to do something about it. Oh, I think we uh, we fixed the cash flow. Oh no, tax relief is almost done. That works. Offshore tax haven. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. Does micromanagement allow me to... Ah, okay. Okay. I don't think this is really necessary, strictly speaking. But we might want to get into... Uh, we're not going to do... We're not going to do death row stuff in this playthrough. We don't have enough space or time. But I believe... One of these allows you to sell the prison. I can't remember which one it is. Huh. Not sure, but I, I guess we're going to... Well, we don't have the cash to do the offshore tax haven. But now we should... We should be able to now have a significantly lower tax. Now that that's been completed. I'm assuming it's completed. Yes. It is. Okay. How do I get these guys to make the license plates? I guess I just have to have more prisoners. That's probably what the, uh, what the whole deal is. But, uh, I mean, I had guys in here. I guess they're, uh, wait, did I mark that as work in free time? Oh, I sure did. Sure did, okay. Well, that's okay. Maybe I will take a yard. I don't, they don't need two hours in the yard. Not to be, uh, required at least. So if I did an hour of free time at the end, then that gives everybody free time. And three hours in the uh, in the programs. I don't know that this has to be okay. That's in progress. I shouldn't uh, shouldn't be worried about that. Yeah, now it says four to six p.m. Now that's been fixed. Four to seven, I guess, has been fixed. I just need one guy, one guy, a single guy to pass the general education qualification. Ah, come on. Come on, you're killing me, Smalls. Absolutely killing me. So I think this is what we're going to have to do. Is I'm going to, in the middle of the night here, let's pause this. Um, let's see. Um, dismantle. Dismantle object. All of them. Dismantle every object here. Uh, get everything out of the classroom. We're going to split this into two classrooms. And we're going to vastly, vastly increase the amount of stuff we can get done. Hopefully. All right. So this is actually it's probably better to do this from the room dialogue. Uh, mark this as a classroom. Then come back to the classroom that I can never find because this is not in alphabetical order or any conceivable logical presentation whatsoever. All right. 16 by. Th okay. So it's going to be uneven. They can't be eight and eight. They could be seven. And then this one can be eight. That is okay. We'll just put the wall in the middle. And then a classroom. Oh, we're not going to worry about uh, blockading access to the classroom anymore. I don't think we just put regular doors in. That's fine. And then uh, we'll rebuild it. We have the technology to put these school desks in. I guess I can put them here. 
that also probably doesn't need to be right there. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Uh... Wait, why does it need to be repaired? Hmm, that's kind of a uh, kind of weird. I guess they've been damaging it. Okay, so blackboard. I'll just put uh, corner here, corner here. That's fine. Uh, this is also going to need an office desk. We'll put in this corner and this corner. Uh, is there anything else that improves a classroom's grade? I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, it took all the lights out. Let's put those back in. Or at least some amount of lights back in. That should be okay. I don't know that there's... Ah, the classroom can be improved with the addition of a water cooler. Okay. Very well. That will go there then, and that will go there. Anything else that can improve the classroom? Uh, fire sprinklers we probably should have somewhere. Um, bookcases, classroom, bookshelf. Okay. I could put these in cells too. We just uh, never really uh, bothered to put too much extra stuff. The cells are kind of small. Honestly, the minimum security guys probably should have much larger cells so you can put the rest of the uh, amenities in there. But if we take a look at what else goes in here... Um, okay, this highlights the bookcase, but it doesn't say it improves the grade of a classroom. Now, uh, the rest of this... Fancy discs. All right, I think this is going to be fine. Uh, just uh, get these guys to put all this stuff in. They can have that done before the morning, and we can reschedule our classes. So it's not all so tied up by the uh, general education course. And I just, I cannot believe they're not making any license plates at all. I, I did not think that was going to be that big of a problem. Uh, that's uh, that's fine, I suppose. We'll just get it going. We got our two, uh, our two things there. These classrooms are now ready to go. Oh, this hasn't been a... Uh, Hasn't been enclosed, although it wasn't uh, specifically required to be closed. Enclosed, rather. Isn't there a wall that has to go here? Did, did they just conveniently forget? Okay, no, it's still there. Alright, now we got to uh, redo our programs. Um, no, no equipment, yeah, I bet. Uh, we just have to kind of, uh, kind of redo this, I suppose. Foundation education program. Maybe I do only need to just have the one, uh, the one for the general education. Concentrate them all in one thing. Yeah, carpentry apprenticeship is the only, along with kitchen safety and hygiene, at the uh, the evening session. I think that's probably gonna work. Probably gonna work. We'll see. We'll see if that improves anything. I just I gotta get these guys in here. Gotta get them in here to make stuff, man. We have so much, so much writing on this. Seriously, at risk if a fire breaks out. Well, I have events turned off, so it's not happening. I think. We'll see. Now, if we check our logistics during... Oh, it's still morning. No, they, they, got, they got time. I just got to make sure I got guys in here actually doing stuff. I cannot believe we were hamstrung behind license plates. And some guy passing the GED. Or general education credit. That's We call it a GED where I live. Uh, stand in for a high school diploma. Alright, so those guys are learning, in theory, in the morning session, how to operate workshop equipment safely and without killing anyone. Intentionally or otherwise. And now the... Uh, now we've got two guys in there. It's not giving me any uh, any amount of progress on the 30 license plates. So, like, I don't know if we've made any license plates. But those would be in exports to be sold. So I don't I don't think we're actually doing uh, doing much of anything. So I wonder, has this actually improved the quality of education? Like I've got I've got six guys enrolled, four interested. So what's uh, what's the deal with that one? They're just waiting. So carpentry apprenticeship is not making license plates. It is making uh, beds. 
or high value wooden items. Yeah, so I don't really uh, don't really know what's going on there. But these guys are learning. They're exhausted, but they're learning. I just need them to make the stinking license plates. Come on. Okay, okay. I see cutting. Okay, they're making blank license plates. So they are, in fact, doing something. But they haven't produced any finished license plates. Aha! Yes, they have. Finally, after 800 years, we have produced license plates. But not 30 of them. I think their definition of 30 might be skewed based on the uh, the look of these. 1, 2, 3, 1, 8, 1. They're all exactly the same license plates. I don't think those are going to be very useful if they're all exactly the same. Maybe could just be me. Could just be me. But once that's done, finally we'll be able to get another get another thing. Um, uh, I just, I don't know. Oh, I can already sell it. Okay, well, we're not going to. I, th I thought that was something I had to, like, actually unlock. So it seems if we were to sell currently, we'd get $210,000, which is a pretty substantial chunk of change for starting a new prison, but I think we can do a little bit better uh, before we finish that. We decide uh, maybe at the end of this episode if this is uh, the last one for this prison, and then we start over next week with a much larger one. But I think... Uh, it probably isn't going to change too much as long as we don't have any deaths or escapes that would make it lower. We would have to have, um, we'd have to have more stuff actually fitted to the building. I wonder if that counts for flooring as well. Uh, this is basically unfinished. Do we want to have some nice ceramic tiles, mosaic floors, maybe, in the cells? Or is it wooden floors? Uh, carpet is probably a mistake. That's going to get filthy. But uh, what if we improved the quality of the flooring in the cells? Would that uh, would that improve their quality of life? I doubt it, but it might, uh, might improve the value of the prison, maybe, a little bit. Hardwood flooring. Yeah, I put, put this up on a, up on Zillow. Like, yeah, I got a prison. It's got hardwood floors throughout. Wow, what a, what a great quality, quality place to go be imprisoned for years and years for murdering somebody. Because it has hardwood floors. But I digress. We've got all sorts of other stuff we can put in your common rooms. Uh, maybe those could have an interesting floor. But marble tiles. Yeah, there you go. Um, docks. I don't think so. Fast walks. But you know what? Why don't Why don't we just do uh, Why don't we just do wooden floors in the actual uh, the actual areas here? Just because we can. We're running low on cash. No, surely we're not running low on cash because I'm putting wooden floors in the entire prison. Surely that has nothing to do with it. Well, when we finally produce the rest of our license plates, uh, we will get uh, $10,000. That's going to be nice. Daily cash flow. Daily cash flow. Yeah, we're spending a lot of money on reform programs we probably don't have to be spending, in all honesty. Got a lot of guards, got a lot of workmen staff, etc. We could probably do... Okay, no. Is this guy supposed to be let out or what? Like, uh, what's what's up with that? Probably. Alright, now make these license plates. Come on, man. Let's go. Get to work. Get to work making these license plates. Let's go. So this door servo has not been... Oh! Nobody's here. I should have a guard uh, permanently assigned into this room. That's probably why the doors aren't being opened, because nobody is permanently in there. Oh, okay, they finished. They finished the general education and the uh, everything else. Okay, we might actually might actually get finished with this. Uh, manufacturing facility is uh, still at 43%, but that, that will get done. Uh, the investments take a certain amount of time. I don't think that's really... Necessary. We're not going to have a hundred capacity cell block. Not going to do the psycho insane prisoners right now, or we don't have room in this one. Governmental security ratings will be the next one we do. Two dog handlers to a dog patrol. We already have dogs. Armed guards. So that means we need an armory for the armed guards. Don't really have a uh, don't really have a place for that. Let's check our 
room requirements for the armory. Oh, I have to research the armory. Okay. All right, we can uh, we can research those guys. That's fine. But we do have the dogs, so let's take a look at our uh, dog handlers. Or I guess I just have to have a specific route. Magenta Patrol, how about that? Have them go all the way around the outside. Right here with the dogs. Maybe that will uh, help with something. Alright, so we got two dog handlers assigned to that. That works. Armed guards we don't have because we don't have the armory researched. But I think when once we research that, there's going to be another grant that comes up for um, uh, guard equipment or something that's going to teach them how to use tasers. Uh, Power-wise, everything's still looking perfect. Looking good. We've got some beautiful hardwood floors in our cells and our common areas. I doubt that has increased the quality of the cells. Oh, cell quality six. Okay. All right. That's uh, at least that's not low. It says average now. Everybody's got windows, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, at risk of a fire breaks up. That's expensive. I don't have the money for that. Well, I mean, technically I do. Uh, CCTVs. Phone taps. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just do that. Who escaped, you ding-dongs? You're devaluing my prison by escaping. Stop that. Oh, nope. I, need, I didn't need that one. Tunnel search. Yes, in the middle of the night. Wake up so I can search your toilet for tunneling. They're not going to like that very much. Well, that's the kind of thing that you, you kind of can't really stamp out 100% in my experience. Oh, there's multiple, multiple tunnels detected. So I think the dogs are good at finding that stuff. All right, so now I guess I just have to do a big old remove tunnels that doesn't want to uh, let me do this for some reason. There we go. I guess if you go off the map, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't like that. Well, I think that's... Uh, Probably going to help us. I think we, uh, did we finally make all those, uh, yeah, we did make all the license plates. Carpentry apprenticeship program. This was the, uh, this is the other one I was going to do, but I kind of feel like I should do, uh, investment so I can get some more money. Let's do that. Cause that's only, it's only three in game days to get that done. So that'll be hopefully pretty quick. All right, did we get all of the tunnels removed? I think we probably did. Looks like we did. All right, that works. Did we finish um, armory? We sure did. So now I need a... Uh, I need a spot. Deliveries? I wonder if I can uh, move those to the other side here. I'm not sure I can. Uh, where, 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 which one of these is deliveries? I wish this was organized literally at all. Any amount. Literally, which one of these, do I have to just look at every single one of these? Oh, here it is. Is this going to let me get away with putting deliveries over there? So if I move that, I guess so. Uh, then I can put an armory out here. I don't know that it has to be inside. Yep, it does. Okay. Um, but uh, we will just, I guess, go ahead. How big does that uh, have to be? I should have checked. No minimum requirement. Okay. So armory it is. We'll just uh, we'll just make this make this the armory here. So walls and doors. Uh, absolutely, the armory has to have jail doors. Absolutely, so the prisoners can't come and get guns. Seems like a bad idea. Then this will be... No, it's not going to let me until the building's actually done. There we go. That's going to go there. Um, can probably put this wall back, maybe. Alright, so we need guard lockers. Oh, this is literally just a... Uh, okay, well that's fine. Got four guard lockers here. 
Uh, we need weapons racks. I guess we could just uh, do one of these kind of numbers. Then tables. Okay, that's not going to fit, but I'll put the two right there. I think, I believe, uh, the number of guard lockers you have is the amount of gar armed guards you can actually hire. So, let's just check. Uh, cables need to come in here. Yeah, get those guys in there, and then... And then I can hemorrhage even more money by hiring armed guards. Where's my... There we go. I can hire up to eight. Those guys have a lot of... Uh, a lot of cost associated with them. So, armed guards to a patrol. Where do I want armed guards in my prison? It seems kind of... Uh, kind of... Hmm... But I guess, for all intents and purposes, we probably probably want them going all the way around the outside. Just uh, straight up down the sidewalk, I guess. And then, armed guards. I guess it probably doesn't really matter where we have them uh, assigned on there, but that does get us does get us taken care of with that, I suppose. I can just go ahead and make these actual walls. All right, and there's your armory right there. Um, what else? It's really gonna, it's really gonna keep doing this to me, huh? On the uh, the whole thing here. I guess I have to put fire sprinklers in. All right, so the kitchen is probably probably the most important place to have fire sprinklers. I guess I'll just pop a couple of those in there. And then, uh, where else? Where else would make sense? Uh, workshop, probably. Just pop a couple of those in there. We'll see, uh, see what ends up happening. These guys, of course, have to be properly plumbed. Which I guess we'll just do like so that should take care of most of that but will it will it stop complaining if I have just in those areas I guess we will see Ugh, all right we could make some extra money if we added a death row yeah that's that's your motivation for death row is to make more money why are we angry in the uh oh well that certainly is not something you want to see hmm all right, so what happened here? All right, I got to click on this guy. Unknown reputation, unconscious. Store prisoner in medical bed. Ex-law enforcement, too. Come on, man. You got to be better. So are are they, they going to take him to a medical bed, or are they just going to let him bleed out on the floor? Come on. I guess we don't have enough, uh, we don't have enough resources here. The guy's name is Hay. Like, what's what's up? Like, we should, we should have enough resources. Oh, no, they're doing, that's pharmacological treatment of drug addiction, I'm pretty sure is what they were doing. These guys are still here. Or one of those guys is still here. Yeah, put these guys in the bed, let them, let them heal up. Hopefully they don't uh, die because of that. That would be unfortunate. All right, um, present, yeah, 260,000 now. Now we're, now we're cooking. All right, what other grants? We have, um... Not going to do maximum security unless. Okay, we we might already qualify for this. Um, sure, sure, let's do that. Um, tasers and body armor need to be researched. All right. Well, that'll get us somewhere. Um, there and there. CCTV monitors. Let's go over to our. Uh, security here. I guess we can put... Oh, that's a big one. All right, hold on. Um, I want to be able to look at this, so I guess we'll just go right here, and then we can put our uh, cameras. But where where will we put the cameras? I guess is the, uh, the other question. Because these do rotate. Um, they have like a certain swath they can cover. So I think it wants to be... Okay, that's not going to work there. 
I think it wants to be in specific places where it knows it can see stuff. So maybe uh, right here in the canteen. Right here in the canteen. And then we're going to want one uh, that can see here and here. I think, I don't know what the actual cone that they can see is, but that's a, uh, that's a good start at least. Get those things put in. I know it's not, uh, oh, it's not connected to the power. Okay. Of course that needs a direct, direct connection. I guess I could have just gone over this way, but it doesn't matter. That's all right. We'll get it figured out just fine. So I think uh, wiring. Okay, it doesn't. It's not qualifying that as a CCTV monitor. Oh, there it is. Okay, so is it going to? Uh, is it going to show me what the actual cone is that it sees? I don't know that it will. Okay, so it, it wants three more. Wants three more of these uh, CCTV cameras. Well, the way I have my cell blocks set up is not really uh, not really conducive to that. Um, let's see. I can put uh, put a camera here. I can put a camera here. Put a camera here, and then I can put a camera here, so we can get most of the yard. I believe. Now, in real life, these would see all the way to the corner. This is not really not the big of a space, but they might only have an effective cone of so much size okay so I guess we uh, I guess we got our money for that even though they haven't been uh, fully connected how many can this actually okay we need another guard here I don't know that this has a limit on how many it can uh, it can have but let's uh, let's assign in one more guard permanently in here so we can man both of these things uh, did we get Body armor, we did a taser rollout. Okay, there we go. Yeah, zap them. Okay, so what other uh, grants? Investment, cell block C, criminal insane. I guess carpentry apprenticeship is the last one we'll do. Uh, we'll get that, hopefully, uh, 10 superior beds. All right, and then I think we can probably uh, put a bow on this uh, short playthrough here. Well, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's about four hours. It's not really, not really that short. Technically, we could have done it a lot faster, but uh, I did have to relearn how to play the game. Yes, 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 we could make lots of money quickly if we added Death Row to the prison. Clearly, that is your sole motivation in life, is to make as much money as possible by just killing people. That's, I guess, kind of in line with some of this. But anyway, uh, we need to just produce 10 superior beds. So does that mean we have to have... A, uh, okay, this is already started. Oh, we already had it. Okay. There we go. Oh, we didn't do any parole or anything. Um, where, where could I put a parole room? I don't really have a lot of space. Uh, at least I don't think I've got space for one. Actually, the way this is set up here, this, um, reception, no, that wouldn't be a great spot for it. This right here actually could probably be a decent parole room. Uh, five by five. Yep, that would work. Could I fit two of these? So if I did a wall here, five. No, not quite. It would just be one big parole room. That's okay. Let's um, let's make this an actual uh, an actual building here, and see if I can uh, have a parole room here while we are making. Uh, carpentry stuff. And this still counts as a door because it is a door. Our prisoners look a little untidy. All right, well, I've been trying to get this to actually be done, so I will take no, I will take no sass, sir. Jail door there, jail door there, uh, brick wall, brick wall. I don't know why I have this paused. Kind of, I guess that's a timberborn response right there. Just pause the game when something comes up. Big parole room. Doesn't have to be that big, but we will we'll make it big. I think this is the only thing that has to be in this parole room. Is the uh, the visitor table here? So we'll just put that there, and then we can schedule parole hearings. 
No equipment. What do you mean no equipment? Oh, okay, because they haven't placed that in there. Uh, alcoholics group therapy. Is this a... Uh... Oh, good. I do have I do have a slot for that. Okay. Behavioral therapy. I don't have a psychologist. Uh, parole hearing. How many of these can I have? Oh, wow. I can have four. Nice. Okay, well, that's going to help a lot. Uh, this is an empty office. This is a psychology thing. I guess I could just start. No equipment. All right, what does this say about behavioral therapy? Led by a psychologist in an office, each... Ah, leather sofa, sofa, wide sofa, sofa, parentheses, brown, wide sofa, parentheses, brown. All right, so I guess we just have to find a uh, fancy... I want the fancy sofa. Do, do they have the... Uh, I wish they had, like, the... Uh, oh, what do they call those? Um, like, Victorian fainting couches or whatever that have the... Uh, I, I don't know how to describe it, but... I thought I always thought those looked kind of cool. But um, what I could do is I could actually have... I could have a second one of these. We could have two psychologists. And then uh, maybe we can get some more of that going. Okay, behavioral therapy. So why do I only have one 9 a.m. slot for that when I have... We got two guys unscheduled, huh? Okay. Well, I mean, all the programs we have available, we have available, so I guess that's good. And we are coming up on the hour mark in the video, so I guess that's uh, about what I uh 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 we've detected we've detected shovels. Hold on, tunnel search. <laughs> got to get that going. And we have not connected those cameras to. Uh, I've not connected those cameras to wiring yet, so we do have to do that. But I think we've done a pretty decent job, all things considered, in uh, four episodes of having a pretty successful small prison. Obviously, a lot of stuff could have been done a whole lot better, but that's why we learn and relearn the game, is to learn how all of that stuff works. Now, let's get these tunnels, get these tunnels out of here. There we go. And then I believe, yeah, we are going to reconnect uh, these guys. It is uh, a little annoying that they have to be directly hardwired, or so it seems. To have some sort of range out of something. I don't know why this one didn't uh, didn't qualify as just wired in, but... That's very strange. Okay, those are connected. Those should also be connected. Um, ten superior beds. Are we superior bedding in here or what? Okay, we got our jobs. Anybody in here doing work? I guess not. Oh no, the carpentry one's in the afternoon. That's why. That's why we didn't have that. Okay. Okay. So I guess this this could actually take a while to, to build all those beds. So I wonder... I guess we'll check out in the afternoon uh, when that is actually active. 4 to 6 p.m. So we only have one pass. That's going to take a while to uh, to make 10 superior beds with just uh, one guy. But I guess, uh, I guess we can find out. We'll wait and see. Has this guy just been sitting here this whole time? Uh, we have solitary. Like, what's uh, what's up with this guy still being here? We have we have solitary available. Oh, that hasn't been. Uh, wait, yes, it has. Why are there two guys in one solitary? That's not how that works. Why do I hear screaming? Somebody got attacked. I I guess. Yeah. Why are there two prisoners in one solitary cell? Uh, okay, that's nice. Um, like, I feel like... I feel like this is not supposed to be... I mean, they're identified like that. Do I have... Logistically, have I uh, forced them to be... No, that's shared. I don't really understand why the solitary is so messed up. Why? Why is it, why is it like this? 
A to-do. Escort to holding cell. Okay, the holding cell's here. What's up? Why? Why is why is this like this? The world may never know, but hey, parole is happening. Barnes. Teaching parole hearing. Alright. These guys, I guess, really want to get in here. Um, do I have... I guess this is under utilities. Yes, door servos. Uh, this probably should be an automated door on the inside. Anything else can be automated doors? I did that one. I did not do this one. Okay, they gotta wait for that to get installed. I guess we can go turbo mode here. Have we made any beds yet? I don't think we have. Well, that's too bad. Because I don't want to sit here for another 20 minutes waiting for them to make a bed if we've pretty much done everything else. I don't know. What is the deal? What is the deal with the solitary confinement being like this? Like, like you, you got two dudes in solitary. Stop that. It's solitary confinement. It's not dualitary confinement. As far as I know. Okay, we got rewards for early prisoner release. That's good, at least. I don't know, folks, I really don't know that there's that much else we can do. I guess I just have to hardwire this entire thing directly. That's a little irritating. And everything else just took to the uh, the power branches just fine. Well, um oh, this is a this is a right mess here. All right, so we'll do we'll do a couple of a uh, a couple of other small things and then I think we can uh I think we can safely call it for this playthrough. We've got quite a bit accomplished. Even if, even if, we have not made a single, single bed. We've got one guy, one guy finished. Out of, oh, I'm sorry, two finished, one passed. Terminology that maybe I would not have used. But we have all these, uh, we have all these other things going. we got guys past parole. we got passing spiritual guidance, group therapy for alcoholics. Like, we're providing services, so that's good. But outside of that. I think that is just about all we're going to be able to get out of this one. I mean, we there, there's other stuff we could have gotten into, but... CCTV improvement, huh? Ah, that's how you get the vision cones. All right, well, I guess we could just research that. So I guess this is uh, the time of the video where I ask you your opinions on the series. Did you like it? I know a lot of you guys are excited about this game and the sequel, uh, but would you want to see another series? I'm planning on doing one, but uh, just so I can kind of get an idea... Uh, any specific... Oh, wow, that's obnoxious with all those vision cones going back and forth. I think I might want to might want to turn that off, or at least not have to worry about it. But uh, is there anything specific you would want to see in a second series of this? Uh, different things you want to see done in the prison? You want to see a bigger prison? I think we definitely would want to make a bigger prison, because now we're kind of more or less maxed up. Put that cookie down, our prisoners are starving. <laughs> I mean, they're not because we feed them a ton of food and it doesn't say anyone's hungry. Oh, it literally does. Too many prisoners are complaining of hunger. I mean, we have the same amount of dudes and we have the same amount of cooks and we trained prisoners to be cooks. So I don't really know. I uh, don't really know what's going on there. But um, at any rate, that I think is going to be where we put an end to this. Uh, the beginning of the next series, we will sell this prison uh, and then come back and start anew using the cash that we've scrounged up but thanks very much for watching i appreciate you guys beard boosters as well making it possible for me to continue doing all this right on cue we have an escape unbelievable unbelievable that is so rude i'm trying to do the outro to the video and you're having an escape stop that you have any idea how selfish you're being right now <laughs> come on i guess now we have to solve that problem and figure out why in the world our prisoners are starving. All right. We already have six cooks. Fine, I'll hire more cooks. And then I guess we got to do tunnel search. Man, <laughs> I, I swear I cannot do, I cannot do anything without something going wrong when I'm trying to end the video. Happened in yesterday's Timberborn. It happened today in Prison Architect, but that's fine. That's the way she goes. We'll just go ahead and do a little bit of tunnel removal. And then we'll uh, we'll say goodbye. Yep, always going out through the toilet. We got it. We got to be better about that next time around. But like I said, that is all the time we got for this one. I uh, hope whatever it is you're doing, stay safe, have fun, 
And we'll see you back again next week for a new series in Prison Architect where we will sell this one and uh, see what we can come up with next. But yep, that's it. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.